friends, Jim Zellner here to review the Greenworks Pro 80 volt brushless mower along with the string trimmer and the blower. In my 30 plus years of home ownership and grass mowing, I've only bought one other new mower. That was a hundred dollar Craftsman that served me well up until last season when it hit a stump and uh, that was it. So as an electrical engineer, I thought the technology was ready to make the switch from fossil fuel to electrons or battery power. I wrestled long and hard to make the decision and I thought I would help out others making that decision too and show you uh, my decision. The Greenworks Pro 80 volt. Price-wise, I think it's a little bit expensive. Uh, the mower and the four amp hour battery were about 500 off of Amazon. The blower, I think I paid about 135, and the string trimmer about 110. So it is quite of an investment, but um, we'll see. You know, if it lasts uh, 10 years or so, I think it will be well worth it. So you'll have to come back to my channel in 10 years to find out if it's still running. I've used it about five or six times now, and here's my spoil alert. I really like it. I like it primarily because it's quiet, it's quiet, and it's quiet. It almost makes mowing the lawn enjoyable. Plus, I don't have to deal with the gas, the fumes. I think it's a little bit lighter than uh, a gas mower. Uh, it seems to be well built and it does a decent job of mowing the grass and I'll show you that later. I also like the blower a lot. Uh, not messing with the cord is really helpful. Uh, it's not compared to the blower I was using, the corded AC. It's probably a little bit louder but it's not too loud. I do like the string trimmer, but not as much as my old faithful Shindawa that still runs. Uh, I find that it spins up slowly. Um, I have trouble aiming uh, the string. I know that's probably me. Um, and then the, uh, I don't really like this bump head. I was using a setup like this before that was pretty simple. Maybe it was easier to aim. So I went to try to switch that out, but it looks like uh, there's a guard in there to maybe keep dust out of the motor. And it looks like this is the only bump head that will work on it. Um, so I'll use it for now. Um, it's not, it's, it is pretty good, like I said. Uh, then we have the battery over here and battery charger. Um, I got the 80, well, 80 volt. I got the four amp hour. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. It's, it does last long enough for me to do my whole lawn, which is about a little over 4,000 square feet of uh, grass that I have to cut. Um, I think I'll show you at the end. I'll still have battery left on that. Uh, it's pretty simple to operate. Just stick the battery in and you're ready to go. And just a press of a button and it's easy enough to switch it to say like the blower. I do uh, find that in the blower and the string trimmer that it's a little bit heavy. Maybe a two amp hour battery uh, would be nicer in there. So uh, with that, I'll show you how it cuts. I'm in Virginia. Um, my grass is probably um, a creeping red fescue or something like that. Uh, probably actually it's some special blend, proprietary blend. And let's see, um, it's measuring in, probably can't see it, about six inches now. So the grass is longer than it should be to cut. I'm gonna put the mower on four um, I will mulch it. I always mulch the grass, so 
Um, we'll see how it does. Probably a little bit long. This is going to be a stress test for it. The part I've been waiting to show you, how quiet it is. So to operate it, you press this button, pull back the lever, and go. I'll see if I can do that. Uh, let's see, one-handed with the trying to take a video. There we go. Passes from the neighbor's perspective. My one complaint is that there are no headlights on this mower. It's so quiet, I could mow my lawn in the middle of the night. My buddy Glenn has headlights on his mower. I have to wear my Petzl headlamp. So there's the cut. Probably hard to see on a video. And this see, I went from uh, six inches down to about three inches, maybe two and a half. Probably more, uh, more of a cut than should be on a lawn. Um, but you see, actually, you know, spring in Virginia, it's been pretty wet. The grass is a little bit on the heavy side, um, but uh, no clippings even showing. So I think it's done a decent job, actually a very good job. I'm very pleased with the cut. I'm not real picky about my uh, lawn, but I do like it. I do enjoy this mower. Uh, so I hope this helps you all out in uh, your decision to switch from gas to uh, battery powered. All right, when all is said and done, I still have one bar left on the battery and it will take uh, right about the 40 minutes to charge this fully probably a little bit less since there's still a bar left i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time